Okay, this video we'd like to share with you uh, the newest addition to our collection. Uh, this is a very, very special piece. You can see it's in a uh, really interesting but magnificent uh, shelf case. It's in the form of a castle. You can see it has just fantastic carvings. You see in the top of the castle there's a very large, uh, about three and a half inch door, a uh, double door. And this clock is unusual. It's called an owl clock. And so instead of calling the owl uh, with the cuckoo, uh, the clockmaker that made this piece uh, did so by using an owl. And we're going to set it off and you can see the thing in action. You see, he has a beautiful carved owl with glass eyes uh, that has automation to his beak. And this is just an extremely rare clock. Uh, you know, in all the years we've been collecting uh, Black Forest clocks and searching the world for our collection, this is the only example of an owl clock uh, that we've ever seen. There are some modern recreations of an owl, but we've never seen an original uh, in person. This clock's made about 1890. And we know the records of Johann Baptist Biha do mention that uh, Biha actually uh, did make uh, some owl clocks as well. So they were made by Biha. This example is definitely not a Biha, um, but uh, it's still a very fantastic uh, clock. We're going to spin this thing around and show you the movement. So the movement's uh, a cast brass movement in the lyre form. You see a very interesting design. It has a very large bellow on the left hand side of the movement. And it still has its original top. The clock was just restored and uh, the original bellow was recovered in new skin. See that bellow hangs a good distance over the, uh, the movement, much farther than a cuckoo clock would. And that bellow is also uh, substantially larger in diameter. Anyway, you can look at the movement. You can see the movement's also very unusual. The, the arm that controls the uh, bellow for the owl is actually on the time side of the movement. In order to get the uh, proper leverage to pump and flutter that bellow, uh, that large bellow, the, uh, the arm that operates that had to be moved all the way over to the far side of the movement. So, very interesting. Obviously, uh, there's not a bellow on the other side. There never was. Uh, this is uh, how the clock was produced. We'll set it off on the back so you can see it in action. But that's it. It, it brings that bellow up and it flutters it really fast. And uh, that recreates the, uh, the call of the owl. So it's a simple clock, not much to it, but just extremely rare. Uh, you know, once again, in all the years we've been collecting, this is the only example we've ever seen in museums, books, collections. Uh, never seen another. If anyone else has an owl clock, we would love to hear from you. Uh, you could contact us through our website, which is blackforestclocks.org. And uh, we're always interested in meeting others who have an interest in uh, Black Forest horology.